Kilpailussa mukana Ramirent. Kotikatsomon eväät tarjoaa kotipizza. Hello and welcome to the second stop of the Prodigy Disc Pro Tour here in Tampere. This is the final nine holes, round three. This coverage is brought to you by Natural Born Disc Offer. Thank you guys for sharing your coverage with us here at Gatekeeper Media. And this commentary is brought to you by Parked Podcast. My name is Mitch Phillips. Joining me is my co-host, Hayden Ricard. Final nine. I always enjoy coming to the final nine at any course over here. It's been fantastic to see, and we're only one stroke between the leaders. Yeah, it's one stroke between our two leaders and very, very close battle. I mean, you have four players that are tied for fifth and so many battles going on beyond this, I mean, almost 20 strokes in between second and third. But I'm excited to see and check back in with this leaderboard throughout. But going into the back nine, if you can play clean, and playing clean means minimally like <laughs> four or five bogeys. Fairways. Yeah. Just hit your fairways. We that get is into all the you want. Wood chips of death, as I've called them. I mean, just there's so much difficulty here, but yeah. talk us through hole 10. Yeah. I mean, this is one you want to play clean on. I mean, a par four, 653 feet. And the first initial gap, you just got to get out of. You see a lot of the players play the Sky Anheuser over the top, trying to leak left and push up towards the green and just. Be safe for the par. There's some it ferocity is, in you there. Just just, it, just get the par. It, it's all it's you a, need. It's a hole that I feel like you can attack on. Yeah. And Evelina is definitely an attack that the does trees. push left. That's going to be a tough one. It's definitely the first time she hasn't perfected this tee yes. shot. Um, it's one that in person I feel like it looks, it's a lot more open. Because on camera here, it, it is. It's deceiving. And they match each other. They both find that left side. It seems that there is a lot of wind, maybe that right to left wind. You can see the leaves moving around. I think if you're trying to go over the top, it's going to reveal that that plate of the disc, and it's going to push it left earlier than they want it to. And I think the inside route is definitely more of the safe play when the wind is blowing. Mm -hmm. It's harder. It makes your second I, shot harder, but I think exactly. you get better footing and more mm -hmm. consistent landing. You're not in the trees. Right. Haiti Line has been going this kind of middle gap, but perfecting it. Oh, it just goes early left. In round one, we saw her match the distance of the over-the-top shot. So it's unfortunate to have her land where she is now. This looks like a really good out of the tree, out of the gap. <laughs> just trying to go as far as she can. Here's Olivia. After finishing out the front nine with a lot of momentum, let's see if she can continue on. It's a yep. Great shot. Just a little chip up from there to find the par on 10. Maybe a bit of a skip there at the end. We'll see but if she's on the edge. That's going to be a tough look. Speaking of tough looks, Evelina and Henna, we are getting to their drives, and they're both having they're to deep in there. very interesting shots. Hopefully this turn turns or sits. Okay, it slows down. I was like, it needs yeah. to turn or slow down, or it's going like out of bounds. OB. What a great scramble stroke there from Henna. Yeah. And we're one stroke with nine holes to play. I mean, this is going to be back and forth. Whatever you can do, I need to do. You know, it's going to be a push for mm -hmm. sure. And you know they're great friends too. Yeah, it's it's really fun to watch. Playing the for the same team. Yeah. That is so... That doesn't go OB. I think that goes OB. It must have hit. There's a, there is a, a tree that has been On chopped. On the back side. Yeah, and kind of stops the rolls. And so I guess it did stay safe. And Henna again yeah, with, with this yeah, the lack of the, the lack of forehand, that might be out of bounds. I think it is. I'm not sure or how not. far up it. Yeah, it, it is kind of deceiving where the out of bounds ends on this one. It's hard to tell. As I think that was a good great kick. kick. Very good kick. Yeah, the lack of backhand in Henna definitely coming into play there. She's a great forehand roller, but rarely will go to the forehand in the air. Oh, 
Good bid. That is a far bid. Yeah. Yeah, she stayed safe. You can see it come mm -hmm. back right in yep. and curve around. Yeah, this basket placement is really good. Oh, yeah, and she got Evelina lucky. hitting the post. And what it looks like here. See if she can capitalize on it. And does not. Yeah, even being top players in the world, that pressure, knowing you got away with something, knowing you need to continue on. That's Olivia, Olivia with a good par. Yeah, great par. Just the bogey there for line A. Olivia, for your bogeys yeah. and a par, I mean, this hole is playing 5.4. Wow. One, almost one and a half strokes over par. Yep. A hole that is definitely playing over par. These beautiful wood chips. Take a breath in as we just have this lovely drone flight. These white trees on the side and just so peaceful. This nice music and... Until you hit a tree. Until you hit a tree, and then you hit a tree, <laughs> and then you roll away, and then you fall into the creek. This, this it's a this, demanding this straight is, shot. Is one of so the prettiest far. and also meanest. It makes me think of uh, I forget what hole it is at Blue Ribbon Pines. That's just that oh, yes. dead straight yep. shot in Minnesota. And it, oh my goodness, as you can see, just pushing just a little bit yeah, off the fairway is gonna it's make you go into scramble hurts. mode quick. And Evelina trying to rip on this one. Does this does it sneak all the way through? I think this one sneaks. Yeah. Yes, it does. We saw in round two, Evelina and Henna both getting into the green, but both missing the putt short. So hoping to correct here if Henna can match. It's a bit low. Mm. It's a good early kick down, though. I think she'll have a decent approach. Oh, and this looks perfect. This looks really good for Haiti. Gonna be a little bit left, but should be a, a simple up and down par. I have noticed that she likes to kiss the disc sometimes yeah. before she throws it. <laughs> it's a little bit of luck. A little bit of luck. Yeah, and Olivia just really in trouble here. Mm, that definitely. I think if that tree there. was not there, that was skipping up towards the basket. I do that often. I wish trees aren't there, and it doesn't. <laughs> it definitely doesn't help. Good approach. Mm -hmm. Take her bogey from there. Evelina with a long look. Well. Gotta get the height right. Yeah, it's good spin. It's online. Oof. That footing, you see that Footy, back foot just sinking. sinking. They're there both is, in there. Yeah, there is a, a timer on how much <laughs> she can spend standing right there. Get to Henna. Just low. Yeah, and I believe Henna and Evelina both put the P2s. I think so as well. Great par from Haiti. Yeah, it'll be the bogey for Henna. I mean, after the early tree kick, it's a good save. That's common here. Mm hmm. Very common. It's one stroke over par. Yep. So it's playing the rest of the field. It's playing like a par four. Getting the par on. 11 is Evelina getting a stroke back. Now with two strokes. Yes. Which is definitely the part of the course where you want to continue that. Walk us through hole 12. Yeah. Hole 12, par 3, 433 feet, dog leg right. More of like a, like you said earlier around, more like an elbow shape. And you want to carry the height to get far down this fairway. But we did see in second round, they went a little bit more of the low round. Yeah, the low route, but getting it to just push is definitely the... And Evelina really pushing good finish far that, left, yeah. but able to kick down into a decent area. Yeah, it's not as much like from the tee, it does look like it's a hard right turn. But it doesn't. It's just yeah. kind of, it's a slow turn. Yeah, this, you is, just this is the see. line. 
Yeah, this is if this, this is looking back, great. Yeah, just a little bit on the right side, but that's definitely the shape you want. Just a little bit more height, maybe a touch more of a stability in the disc, and that's putting you in a really good spot. A bit inside here. Still gets good distance. And a good kick back down towards mm -hmm. the fairway. I mean, on the edge. For it to fight through like that is amazing. Yeah, Hannah almost getting to circle's edge in round two. This looks early. I feel like they just like playing. They just kind of follow. Other. Yeah, they kind of follow each other right into different different spots in the course. Similar shapes. It's very rarely do they, yeah, do their own thing. Which is kind of fun to watch. You get to see both of the, uh, these players. How they approach. You know? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay. What? Oh, my God. That would have been... Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I would have... If that went in... Freaking lost my mind. Hitting cage with that if, if she that doesn't much hit cage, speed, if she doesn't hit cage there, that's going 60, 70, 80 long. Yeah. Do you think that basket held that? I wish if it would have stuck in the cage. <laughs> Just dunk right into it. Oh, oh. and Henna hitting a bas hitting a tree. Hitting, basket, hitting a tree. I can't stop thinking about that basket. I know. We got so excited, my my puppy at our feet just freaking out right now. Oh and wow. Olivia hitting yeah. one of the last couple trees going up to the green. I wonder if Evelina knows that she hit that. I mean, she's deadly. You with had that. to have heard it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You mm -hmm. had to have heard it, but yeah, that green. I believe. Don't know how close to be a champion firebird. She throws in that forehand very often, with just such control, and she knows exactly when it's going to fade. I mean, that that was a ridiculous approach. That was on a rope. Just outside circle here for Keenstedt. She's a great putter from outside. Yes, good another good safe. putt. Carrying the momentum from that last one, and we've got the Koti Pizza slow mo. She comes very low, carries the momentum through the knees. I, I mean, it looks it. exactly the same like her birdie putt. Mm -hmm. Love seeing the full commitment there. And in that range, we're just outside the circle, not needing to jump, but controlling the speed, keeping hyzer. Loved it. An unfortunate double bogey there for Henna as Evelina with a will tap in her par. Big stroke swing there. Yeah, I do wonder if she actually knows how close she was. Yeah, I mean that was top of the cage too, but I mean Evelina extending her lead, another hole where a big spread of scores can happen. If you have discs in your bag, they're gonna get thrown on this hole. A, fairway driver off the tee, putter mid-range on the corner, back to a fairway driver on the approach here. And that's if you play this hole to perfection. Um, you're gonna see a lot of players try to really go as far as they can and then make the corner if you're in the aggression mode on, on this first shot. But you can also just lay up to the corner. It's not necessary for you to do too much. I think she's in the aggression mode. Yeah, maybe a bit too much turn. It's almost to where she was Second round. Gonna find that casual. It's gonna be interesting how where she comes out uh -huh. off of that. And that's gonna dictate how her yeah. footing is. Right, how she can attack the and see if she can make the corner. This looks really good. Great height, able to make the corner. A little bit left. Oh, just a little bit short though. And we saw Henna in round two throw a phenomenal shot. Let's see if she can match it. Olivia as well has the distance. This turns. This looks really good. Great shape using the left side of the fairway all the way down. Yeah, and Hannah put it so far down mm -hmm. the fairway. And I think she's doing it again, but a little inside. 
even further. And being on that left side is kind of where you want to be on the second shot. You can push a little bit further, maybe disc up a touch, throw more of a skip shot instead of having to just pitch around the corner. Great shot really from good, Olivia. yeah. Good speed control, good height, minimizing the skip and just putting her in a good position to attack the green. And when you attack this green, if you make it around the corner, I mean, it's like throwing another drive. I mean, it's another 330, 340 feet to a raised basket. And Evelina just going with a putter shot, trying to get out. Yeah, and she did have to go behind that creek, it did look like. Haiti making the corner, but just a little bit long. Another kick right. Yeah, and you saw her disc up to the fairway driver. And that's that's the mistake that you you think you're in a good spot, but that shape, you just it you can't throw that fast of a disc. It doesn't reward it. As I say that henna goes over the top. She's in a decent spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is where you're going to see throwing that kind of mid-range putter. Just Yeah, just bank in the corner, getting you into a decent spot where you can approach the green with yeah. a long fairway shot. Yeah, because if you're 20, 30, 40 feet further than that, it really doesn't change your shot. No. It'll be a little bit short left. Good kick. Stops it, maybe gets her a look to put it onto the green. Going to the standstill. Get up there. Oh, oh. So close. That last guardian tree. Oh, and Haiti just having to pitch out. Man. Really nothing else she can do from there. I think this is a putter. It looks to be that way. Yeah, definitely a putter. Again, hitting that same tree. Yeah, and as you approach the screen, you want it to kind of be on that right side working left because just like this, it's the most open and then it fades and you're not going to fall down the hill as much. It's going to be an uphill putt from there. Circle's edge. She might have a back door look. Yeah. She does. Yeah, she'll have that for par next. Yep, safely. It's a good thing it sits. I mean, you're not really expecting it to fall from that no. distance. Going to the forehand. I haven't seen this much from her. Over the top. Oh, my. That would have been a highlight and a half. 80 from Circle's Edge. Just short. That's hard to read from down there. Hard to see if you can really give it a full bid or, or if it's going to stand up and roll. That's a good bogey from where she was off the tee. Nothing wrong with that. And Olivia with the par. It's a really good par for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love being able to get par in this hole. I mean, it, it's just it's so demanding, the shots you have to throw. And when you, you get a par, when you get a birdie, I kind of feel like you almost cheat it. Because yep. that means that you threw one shot kind of skipping. It's like you're playing a board game and you skip to space. Yep. You know, this, this hole makes you throw three different landing zones, approach the green, hit a putt. Yeah. Hole 14, par 5, 935 feet, and that is a far one. I really want to be left of this pond here, and it'll set you up for a nice, another long throw to end up close towards this netting on the left side for the approach to the basket. Yeah, I'm glad you're doing this whole preview because I, <laughs> I just sit here in silence and just 
It's yeah. it's a Watching difficult that, one yeah. because I mean you have to go so far down off just off the tee mm-hmm. and left of the pond, and then set yourself in a decent spot to get close to approach the green. Yeah, this is a hole that you go in with a game plan off the tee, and then it's an open book because yep. this tee shot really dictates what you're able to attack, really what does. you're able to do. I mean, if you're not in a great spot, your entire game plan changes immediately. I mean, nearly a thousand feet, like 12 different fairways. Mm-hmm. It's early from Henna. She may have kicked down immediately. We'll see what she has for a layup. Evelina definitely going for this one. We saw it turn a little too much and go in the pond in round one. Makes the correction. Yep, and finds She's decent on the edge. footing. We say it so much, and you're probably tired of hearing it, but the footing is so important to be able to set yourself up for that next shot and the next shot and the next shot in this long well, it's par not fives. Just, I mean, the footing here is not just like it's flat ground. Mm-hmm. It's entirety of woods. Right, and we you say footing, roots, yes, you, you can stand water. still, but also footing that you can run up. Yes. Because these are 1,000-foot par fives. Like, you're, you need to be able to get momentum behind your shots. Yes. But we are in the wood chips. Flexes out. She did make the mando. Not a great shot. Yeah, she made the mando, but it's going to be a difficult, difficult spot to get out of. It's Hannah's going to have to go for the overhand just yeah. to get out. She got great touch with that forehand roller, though. Really good, just wrist speed and committing to the angle out of her hand. Yeah. Or scramble with those. I mean, from a mid range or a putter there. I mean, you've seen her throw longer distance ones. This is a great drive. It's going to have to have the full flex Anheuser. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, yes. Perfection. Yeah, if you could set your disc anywhere on a second shot, it's going to be right there. That was a great shot there from Olivia. Maybe caught up at the end, but it's a really Close good forehand. Yeah. Over there. And that was her drive, right? Yes, that was that was wow. her second throw. Hannah throwing her third after a good forehand roller. The control out of the standstill. I think that hit the angle just right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, disking down to what I believe is baseline mid-range, maybe a putter. Stays in the right. Yeah. Good shot from where she was. Forehand approach from Olivia. This flips up. Just ah. inside. Yeah, it's hard to judge like when you need to disc up or throw something a touch more understable on that f- that forehand if you snap too much on it. Snap it. Oh my gosh. Snapping the perfect amount, <laughs> nearly throwing it again. Evelina within 250 feet with a overstable fairway. Watch out, baskets. I mean, my goodness. Hayden had to stand up and walk away so he didn't scream. Try not to burst your ears. That was incredible. (laughs) Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, the approach game is so ridiculous. As we see another one over the top. I did ask for it, but I didn't think it was going to give me (laughs) that much of a scare. I mean, if you haven't watched uh, the first stop here at the Project Pro Tour in Helsinki, definitely go back and watch that. Talk about throw-ins. So many highlights. And this one going towards... It's like they're all looking at each other and just going, we're throwing this in, right? You guys want to give this a go? Cool, cool, cool. Let's do it. And the speed control is incredible. I mean, so difficult to find 
the distance and speed control to go and not go too long. And those were all blind, by the way. You couldn't see the basket at all. Like, take notes. This is so good. So you're taking notes. Olivia's putt has come alive. It really has. On this back nine. I mean, only one bogey so far. Mm-hmm. That's Hannah Fine's bogey as well. I believe Evelina will be tapping in a birdie. Is that the only what? birdie of the tournament? A birdie. I don't know if it's the only birdie of the tournament. Definitely of only of this, this round. round for sure. I can check wow. that. Wow. As you go into the yeah, whole let's preview. go into hole fifteen. As you check that par four, five hundred sixty-four feet. A couple things you need to do on this hole: ignore the basket there on the right. We're not playing to that one. You want to land your drive right around here, and then you're able to attack this protected green. There's a back door there on the left, or you can throw the hyzer on the right. It really depends on where your drive lands and where you're able to attack. Uh, we've seen some highlight putts on this from the back side. The front side, a little bit harder to attack if your drive is pinched. And she did have the only birdie of the tournament. Wow. On that hole. And she set herself up again in a great place yep. on that shot. The only birdie of the tournament on 14. I mean, it's a 935 foot par five. It's a thousand five. foot par five. And she got a four. Jeez. This might be a bit inside here for Olivia. Looks like it did carry a little bit more forwards though. Five strokes behind. Henna really needs to kick it up if this is gonna she's gonna come back. Ah, and the aggression was there, disking up to the fairway driver. Yeah, she realizes it's out of reach. Unless Evelina messes up, but getting the two strokes there on fourteen. It's never over till it's over. It's true. Keep fighting. But yes, it's a, it's a tough feat to come yeah. back that many strokes. Yeah, three and a half holes to play here. Oh, yeah, and she's in. Man, that's so unfortunate. It's unlucky. Just have that late kick to not have much of a shot here. Olivia to do the same. Here with the approach to the green, trying to get the full flex. Gets the distance, but I think she just kind of cut herself off with that full flex there. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, circle two edge probably. Yeah, and this is that weird in between where it's to attack the green. It's kind of this flex shot, and it needs to come back at the end with a lot of pace. Yep. Yeah, and that's best case there. I mean, unless you hit that skip with a good amount of speed getting into that circle's edge range. But that's the spot that Olivia's been, you know, smashing putts from. So hopefully we can see her save the par. Ah, just catching a little that bit of reach back. Snap. Yeah, I caught a touch on the reach back, but brought some stuff with it. So we finally get to Evelina's drive. Being able to a attack bit the hole. off. Oh. We'll see if she has a look there. Oh, Looking and that was... for the skip play. That was such a good angle. One of the only couple of rocks that are around the basket. Man, that was going to be so fun to watch once it hit the ground. Catching the wheel. You hate to see that. Hand it a save par. Just short, she, and she knows it. She has a look over here. Very low ceiling. Yeah. She knows she doesn't need it. Yep. Yeah. Not worth. Mm-hmm chance that it could hit and roll away and maybe gain a stroke and start getting in your own head oh man 
the other ones she's hit from that range have been kind of a step out straddle like yep. a must kind of a not necessarily a must make but in that range of like it'd be great if i did this might as well put some pace behind it but that being an open look is kind of that in between of commitment And Evelina getting the only par on that hole as we move into hole 16. Hole 16, par four, 784 feet, playing more of 800 because of the uphill and you can see the drone footage here. You kind of want to land either the left or right side of that tree, more so the right. So you have a good approach to the green and you have a couple trees just guarding as you approach it. Yeah, you see a lot of players, once they are able to attack the basket, they throw something a little bit overstable and it tends to glide down the hill, go long. Um, but the important thing here is just getting a straight drive. Evelina with six stroke lead, just still putting on a show. That was a great drive. A little early from Olivia, but it's on the edge of the fairway. Maybe a step out. Yeah, let's see if Hannah can really commit here. This comes back. I was trying to. Mm -hmm. I think we've seen over her over there or Evelina over there and be still be able to come back and get the par. Yeah, it's more of a straight shot. And this is more what you're looking for here. Just kind of get almost to the corner, be able to throw a, a backhand hyzer to continue on. Just just, just the easiest way of approaching, easiest way of, of getting a par here. Going to a knee. Great result from a knee there, Olivia. A little bit too much turn. Yeah, the right side of this fairway, I mean, it, it might be some of the worst rough there is on the course when you get deep into these birch trees. That is a laser down the fairway. The standstill power. I don't know how they do it, but they yeah, have, have so much power and are able to get so much distance with a standstill. Yeah, it makes you want to go and play a couple rounds, no X step, and just see the result. <laughs> Good forehand there from Evelina, putting her in the middle of the fairway, still able to attack for the par. Oh, just the height wrong. It's difficult. She's running, uphill, running uphill, trying not to think about the tree on her left. I mean, that's just a lot. Really good recovery. Mm -hmm. Great shape on that forehand. Ah, trying to bite off maybe a bit too much. Knowing she needs to make up some strokes, but... Yeah, looking at the scores here, as Evelina almost She's throws it in again. throwing it in, I think... Dropping on every lawn hole. darts from above. <laughs> it's not safe. Yeah, looking at the score of Olivia and knowing how the, the previous rounds have gone, I'd expect her to be in that contention of that, you know, third, fourth, fifth place. So yeah. pretty clean back nine so far. Hoping to see her continue it, but Hannah just puts it close. No one Hina has, I mean, unless someone's, you know, shooting seven, eight under par. She's definitely got second place locked in, so just a formality here. Chaining out Olivia from, almost oh, <laughs> does it again. Yeah, you gotta think she's checked in on the scores or something with the aggression on that. It's 
Such a good putt. Mm -hmm. And Evelina with the par. Unfortunate double bogey for Olivia. She's playing so clean. And it goes to show the difficulty of this course. I mean, it's it's tough to look at a score card that has multiple bogeys and be like, she's playing clean. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just the difficulty here on every single hole, you never get a chance to take a breath. So we've on to hole 17, par four, 630 feet. You need to get out of this gap, forehand, backhand, doesn't really matter how far you get out of it. As long as you can land on the grass, you're setting yourself up for a great shot towards the second and third. As you climb this hill, moving slightly upright the entire way. We've seen this trees on the right side be non-existent somehow. Every player has just fought straight <laughs> through them. Cheat codes activated, so we'll see how they do it. Evelina threw a phenomenal forehand in the early ones, and I may have just you nice the heck out of her. cursed her. Um, yeah, that's worst case. But I, th I feel like it's every they trade off every other round. Yeah, th this hole is either you get it or you don't. Right. This hole is such just like a, it's 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 throwing dice, and yeah. you're just hoping you land on the the number you put money on. I mean, I like this play a lot if it can fight through. Yeah, I mean that's a straight to nothing to wrong with fade that. back in. You're not trying I mean, to turn it. You're not trying to just doing do as much simple as you can. stuff. Yeah. I think that's something that we can Keep all take simple. notes on. Yeah. I mean, yes, it's a par four. Yes, it needs to turn right. But it's like, really start thinking about where do I want to land? I mean, that was a straight backhand. And nothing Haiti. special. No. And she's in a great spot. Yeah. And our leader, you know, showing the fact that she's, you know, a little bit off right now. I had a, Dude. not just trying to bring up a little story, not trying to talk too much. But had a professor in college said, "Keep it simple, stupid." Yeah, that's, and it works. It does. Not calling anybody stupid, but just keep it simple. Yeah, the quadruple kick, their ping pong style. It is true. Keep it simple. I mean, it's crazy. You know, the college professors just have so much wisdom um, to be able to. This tell needs you that. to sit. Oh, curling around the gallery. Okay. And it's been a feat just trying to get out of that gap. Yeah, that's an angle we really haven't seen to be on the left side of that gap to kind of open up the straight backhand. Ah, just a bit higher. And that's able to climb the hill, but it slows down and should be in a good spot to attack the green from there. Haiti looking to go towards the green. Yeah, after the best drive of the group. This looks really good. So good. Oh, yes. Circle two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's her second shot. I mean, be able to lay up for the par. I mean, that's that's ideal. Fortunate to not go out of bounds there. Love watching Evelina commit to these Anheuser sky shots. She leaks a little bit right, but... Pin high. Yeah, it's it's a thing of beauty, the height and commitment she can put on the knowledge she has of her discs. And you can see a similar shape. I mean, the, the difficulty of that shot. It's not easy. Mm -mm. Definitely takes practice. That's holding up nicely. Just great touch. This should be a tap in for Henna. I believe for the bogey. Olivia here. Oh, 
Oh, she was running it. She was definitely <laughs> running. I didn't see it for a second there, but yeah. until it hit that box. That's a scary run, but I mean, knowing she needs to hey, push got a good backstop. Good putt. It's a double bogey, but it's unfortunate. A great putt. And look, I mean, I, I know we only have one hole, but I mean, this course can definitely bring in some high numbers. Yeah, 18, one of the easier par threes, but still able to find numbers. On to hole 18, par three, 351 feet. Last hole, we're here. And it's not an easy one. No, and the wind it comes looks into straight. play. It, but oh, so many things. Those discs wrong. like to go to the left. Mm -hmm. Physics, man. It tends to be consistent. <laughs> Gravity, rotation, all of the nerd stuff. Got to miss that tree. Yes, it does. And you couldn't see it, but from what we can see here in the commentator booth, Haiti was doing all the maths there, yep. all the sciences. All the to, computing. Yes, to just put that to perfection. And kind of setting the line for the rest of the card here. Yeah. This looks great as well. Just, ah, a, just little a little bit, bit short, though. That's the tough thing. You got that last tree that's in the way if you're going to carry to the far right side. Yeah, T placement is really perfect here. It is. This is going over the top. Pin high, though. Almost on top of the mound. Here's Hannah Bloomros with her throw as well. This looks really good. Get through that tree. It's going right at the basket. Holy smokes. Skips up just past it. It's a great shot from her. You can see Olivia here with the layup for par. She's played great. It's been fantastic seeing her. Hope to see her on the next one. So you see Evelina laying up for her par as well. And Haiti getting the birdie on the last hole. What a putt. And Henna went long on the hole, skipping close to the basket, and another birdie on hole 18. Two birdies. To finish out the round, finish out the tournament with two birdies. Yeah, not the round she was looking for. But. You got Hannah here, or uh, Evelina here with her win for her par. Yep, and your Prodigy Disc Pro Tour Tampere champion, Evelina Salonen. Good putt from Olivia there. What a great round from Olivia. Yep. I mean, up and down, plus nine. I mean, one stroke off of your second place finisher. I mean, she just battled. Her putt came together. Really fun to watch. Yeah, as we look at our leaderboard. And she does hold on. By one like stroke. Thought. One stroke. I mean, those putts down the stretch. Podium Made the finish. difference. Yeah. Very close behind Yeni Escalini, Ana Sofia Hypus. Haiti Line drops down to fifth and some other familiar names there in the top 10. But I mean, these scores, I mean, between Third. second, first, second place, I mean, you're looking at 15, 16, 17 strokes through the podium just showing crazy the difficult numbers that's how she, i mean this whole, this course is so hard yeah i mean even i'm excited to see the rest of these courses and how they attack them yeah let's go into the trophy ceremony olivia coming in third place yeah fantastic what a, to see what her a battle yeah and you're going to see these two battle it out. Yeah, it has. It's crazy to it's see so how fun it, they go. Just they, they bounce back and forth, and it's awesome. Yeah, and your champion here in Tampere, Evelina Salonen. We're going to an interview here with your champion. Täällä taas palkintopallilla mitkä fiilikset. No, tietenkin tosi hyvää, tai ennen kuin poittaa, niin tosi hyvä. 
Oliko minkälainen tämä viimeinen rundi? No yllättävän rento, mutta tota, aika rauhassa ei pelaa omaa peliä. Yes. Äh, Turku on tulossa pari viikon päästä. Mitäs siellä? Onko uusia jippoja? Ei oikein, että radas tykkään tosi paljon ja odotan taas tiukkaa kamppailu Hennan No niin, sitä odotellessa. Kyllä. Kiitos sulle. Kiitos. And what a tournament. Yeah, what a joy it's been to be able to see as we continue, you know, this battle that we've seen. It has that, you know, mid-2015 to 2018 Ricky and Paul battle feeling it to it. The Katrina and Paige battle. I'm excited to see these two players, Evelina and Henna, come to the United States for the 2022 season. But we got two more stops in the Prize Pro Tour. My name is Mitch Phillips. I'm Henry Ricard. And we're excited to break it all down and commentate along the way. Follow us on Instagram at Parked Podcast, and we'll see you for the third stop of the Prodigy Disc Pro Tour.